Welcome back friends, followers and aviation enthusiasts to another video. Today we are going to take a look at a new addition to the sim and that is the SimBrief Dispatch add-on. And no, I am not talking about the SimBrief panel that you may already know. I am talking about the full integration of the SimBrief Dispatch app in the sim. So things like the dashboard, creating a new flight plan, editing a flight, even the performance tool is now available fully integrated in the simulator. So let's start talking about how do you actually install it. Well, you have two options. Option one, if you have a Navigraph subscription, you would open the Navigraph Hub application, scroll down a little bit until you find SimBrief Dispatch for MSFS, click on install, it will install takes one or two seconds and then you are good to go. The other option is to go to the SimBrief dispatch and under software downloads you just scroll down SimBrief dispatch for MSFS, download it, you will get a zip file which you can then extract and copy to your community folder. And just keep in mind that there are some compatibility nodes. If you have FlowPro by Parallel 42 installed, make sure to have the latest version or the SimBrief button will not show up on the world map. If you have the base simulator VFR map opened while you are importing, there could be some conflicts. Just make sure that you close the VFR map before importing the flight plan. And some aircraft of course do not support importing the simulator flight plan into the airplane itself. Just keep that in mind if you are using this application. So it doesn't really matter how you install it, either way the results are the same. Let's go take a look at this brand new add-on in the simulator. Alright we are in the simulator, let's go directly to the world map and observe this brand new button down below. So if you click on that, you will be represented with this view. I am now logged in. That is why everything is available. In your case, you might need to sign in first and then this view will be loaded like in my case. So as you can see, you can just create a new flight. It's the same user interface as in the SimBrief dispatch. You can edit an existing flight, you can take a look at your performance tools, weather and no temps, and so on and so forth. To make things short, I already created one. Let's view that flight plan right here. Now there it is. And if you want to close this view right here, just an advice, do not use anything like maybe clicking on flight conditions because it will close the window but you will be stuck in this view and if you want to let's say take a look at your world map filters which are normally down here below you cannot do that until you click escape or hit the escape button like this so if you have opened this view and want to close it just hit escape to have this bar right here visible again. I almost forgot to show you one important thing and that is this import into sim button. So basically it copies over your route to the world map. Let's go ahead and do that. Now it's importing and saying please do not interact with the sim. Let's wait until it's finished. All right, it has imported successfully. Let's close it and take a look at the route. This looks just perfect. All right. Now you might have noticed that the approach is not automatically selected. It's the same as you would import the SimBrief flight plan into Navigraph. The final approach is not automatically selected. You would have to select that yourself. In this case, we have an arrival for 08 left. Obviously you would select ILS 08 left. Now like I said before, there are maybe some issues with importing this world map flight plan into specific airplanes. Of course the default Asobo airplanes will work perfectly fine with this world map flight plan. 
but just keep that in mind that some airplanes are not having this compatibility. So let's go into the gate and take a closer look at this panel. So here we are in Dubai at the gate. Let's take a look at the toolbar up here and click on Simbrief Dispatch. So the window will open up. This is the same view that we already saw on the world map. It takes a couple of seconds to load up and then you will be represented with this view. And let's take this one, the latest one we have created and view it like this. One thing I noticed which is really cool and that is the scroll feature. You can just scroll down with your mouse wheel. Cool, nice thing. And let's go now inside and take a closer look at what advantages this has. All right, inside the cockpit, let's try a couple of things out. Let me just open this up. And as soon as you close it, you may notice that it will open the initial view, the initial home view of the Simbrief dispatch. Takes a couple of seconds. Sometimes it freezes up. So I might have to close it and open it again. All right, it took a couple of attempts to open it correctly. Let's view the flight again. And now the first thing I want to test out because I like testing out new stuff. Let's go into the EFB. I did not import the flight plan here in the EFB yet. Let's try to load this flight plan directly from here. Will it work out or not? All right, it worked and it received the flight plan, although we did not import it into here. I think this was always the case, maybe, but I didn't notice that. Anyway, so one great advantage of this is now that you can just have your FMS at the right side and your sim brief flight plan on your left. What I did previously was always take a look at the EFB here at the dispatch page. Let me just load that up. So I went here in the EFB then took a look down to the FMS and went back and forth and back and forth until I filled all the pages. Now this is history because you have this one right here directly integrated. So what you would do is, let me just insert that. Some things need to be filled out, of course, like for example, the trip wind, which is in this case minus 26. So you have it directly at your left side. You would just enter a headwind of 26 knots. Okay, what just happened? Anyway, let's get back to the init view page. And if you want to select our departure, we can do it directly from here. Runway 30 right. And the read up to Foxtrot departure. Very nice. Now, what was annoying about going back and forth, back and forth between the EFB and the FMS is mainly in the fuel and load page and of course in the performance page. Now if you want to load up the fuel and load page you would have it directly in front of you right here. Same thing for the performance especially for the performance because unfortunately there is yet no performance tool in the EFB for the A380 still not implemented so you would have to go to the simbrief dispatch in your browser get the performance calculated there and then of course either memorize all the numbers or switch back and forth and back and forth again until you have everything set up now like i said this is history you can just go into performance and tools populate from last flight Let's populate the weather and let's calculate. Everything you see here, you can just directly copy and paste over or 
let's say copy and type over for example the v speeds and the flex temperature which is somehow always 66 degrees all right another thing that you can directly see from here is for example weather and no temps let's populate that from our last flight we have dubai munich and berlin if we search for them you have them directly right in front of you like this so before we come to the conclusion let me just try one last thing and that is this import button which we already saw on the world map if we click import right now let's just see what happens will it import it into the fms or not all right the import has finished let's take a look at the flight plan page and as i expected it is not working because like i said before not all aircraft are supporting the world map flight plan to be loaded into the fms so is this a nice feature yes it is will i use it i guess so especially for the performance calculation tool until flyby-wire integrates its own performance tool in the efb are there any differences between the old simbrief panel which already is available for two years now at flightsim.to well both are doing or showing the same information and that is everything in your ufb from simbrief but like i said before i guess the performance tool is for me personally the most handy thing to have directly integrated in this simulator well this concludes the video if you found this video useful don't forget to leave a like to support the channel and make sure to subscribe to always be up to date thanks again for watching and see you hopefully in the next one